We're on breaking news in Manchester tonight. Right now, the FBI searching the home of a mobster looking for paintings stolen decades ago. They could be worth a half billion dollars. And the FBI has been to that home before. And tonight, something is bringing them back. News 8's Bob Wilson is live in Manchester tonight with that. Been active out there, Bob. Yeah, there are a lot of action out here, man. More than a dozen FBI uh, vehicles showed up here. They had heavy equipment here, been digging in the side yard. It's pretty incredible the amount of activity here. They've shut down the neighborhood and they have gone up in close, started digging. They, then they put up a tarp uh, moments after. Now, what they're doing is they're looking for artwork stolen from the Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum and up in Boston uh, back in the 90s. And we talked to the attorney of the man who lives at the house, Robert Gentile. He's about 81 years old. He's currently in a federal facility waiting federal gun charges. His wife lives here, his son lives at this house. And the attorney says, you know what, it, it's interesting because they believe that artwork now is worth nearly a billion dollars. There's a Rembrandt in there. And he said he understands why the FBI is back out searching for a third time for that artwork. If you look at the evidence that they took from the home uh, on the, the second search, um, some of it is pretty damning. I mean, some, some of it, there, there's a lot of smoke around my client, and he, he understands that. And when asked what his client thinks about this, he kind of paraphrased him because there was some colorful language in there, but he says, uh, they won't find nothing in that place. A direct quote from his attorney saying, he's the, there's nothing there to find, though they're digging in the yard. Right now his client is in Rhode Island at a federal detention center waiting on gun charges. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live here in Manchester, News 8.